presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just printed money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justifications. You are free to be who you are and allow others to be what they are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 262, NASDAQ off 184, SP's down 43. Gold, gold contract down $2.90, trading at 1945 an ounce. You got silver down 17 cents, $24.54 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $79.09 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 10 ticks, trading 109.19. The 30-year down 13 ticks at 119.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 570 ticks, trading at 103.988. Euro is out here at 108. Yen is trading at 145, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, if we take a look at this, talk about nice volatile markets. We have those, that's for sure. And we're going to have Powell speaking in Jackson Hole tomorrow, quarter past 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So if we take a look at the SPY here, you get 58 million shares traded. We went from 445 to 438. And... You know, this is coming into too high volume, bars down, and it's not enough volume. So my take is that this thing's still going to bounce. You know, you're coming into 98 million and 95 million. You know, haven't haven't held held price. Now, the top of the 98 million is 437.52. We've hit 438.52. Let's go take a look at the futures. So we take a look at the futures. It's been a one-way market downtown all, all day long. We pulled this out, and what you're going to see, you still have that vibe. So there's a, there's, there, there is a high volume low at the 4401. That's going to get tested again. We'll see if it gets tested in the next few minutes. Um, you know, that's, that's how high volume lows go, high volume highs go. That's in the SPY. We go to the Qs. The Qs are a little bit different now because what you do have with the Qs is that you're coming into... 60 million and we're going to do 60 million you know but i've seen this set up many times meaning meaning that you do a small bounce you start high you get low you're coming into volume you know we'll see how this shakes out it, it, the we're coming into 62 million as well as uh 61 million and we're going to do that today you know now the 61 million the high of 61 million is at uh, 459 we're into the bar already of the four of the three, I mean, 369, of 364. So we're at 362.96. It depends where this thing basically closes today. If we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. NQs out here. Okay, so now the NQs, okay, this is cool. The NQs, 
Let me get this mic. Okay, so we're, we're starting the next 10-minute uh, bar right here. So the NQs are testing the low right now. You know, we'll see, we'll see how this thing shakes out. We're one minute into the bar. You know, the, the bar, so this is the number you're going to be looking for. Um, 14,900. Oh, you're already above it. It's 14,937. It's got to stay above it in the 10-minute bar. That's how that works. Stays above the 10-minute bar, you're going to get some kind of a bonus into the close. Okay, notes and bonds. Yesterday, we had a huge sign of strength in the note and bond market. It broke its downtrend. They both broke their downtrend. What you have out here today, bottom line, pull this up. You're going to see you get a pullback. You're pulling back with lighter volume. No, no, you're not. Same volume, actually. 2.6 million. Did 2.6 million yesterday. Did 2.6 million today. You know, you still broke the downtrend. And what was the high yesterday? 109.20. No, 109.30.31. 30, oh, my God, the same high. 109.31. Now, you can see it's, still, it's a decisive break. That's the real bottom line. And we go into the 10-year, I mean the 30-year. We pull the 30-year up. Now, the 30-year got to a higher high. Well, that's actually good. We got to a higher high, gave it up in price, but we had higher volume. So that's, that's still saying higher prices are coming at us. Then we go over to the good U.S. dollar. Now, the dollar, this is a trip on the dollar, man. But I have seen this before, too. I like this setup. And what I mean specifically is this. So yesterday, you had a doji. You know, you spiked. The swing points, you gave it up on price. Today, this is a, this is a beautiful looking last engulf. I mean, you start at the lows, you go to the highs. So your confirmation that this is a last engulf, because you know candlestick patterns, certain candlestick patterns have a two day pattern, and that's what a last engulf is. And what a last engulf is is that you've been in an uptrend as you are in the uptrend at the very top of the uptrend. You have to be in the uptrend in order for this to happen, or a downtrend, it doesn't matter. But in this case, we're in an uptrend, it was straight up. Then you have it, and if you close below this tomorrow, then it's saying, okay, that run is over. In this particular case, we have two separate issues, meaning yesterday the inverted hammer, today the last engulfing, that basically is setting up the more than likely that we have that happening. We go to the silver market. Silver has been stronger than gold. And, you know, silver's pulling back slightly. I mean, I mean slightly, too. You know, you're talking about 18 cents. You know, this one's higher price. The thing that's the divergence that we also have out here today, and this is where you can, you know, probability-wise set up that gold and silver want higher price, is that they are not getting whacked when you have the dollar up over 500 ticks. You get a, you get a dollar up over 500 ticks, folks. Most times, you're going to see the gold market down, you know, $15, $20. And that's not the case. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 251. You get the NASDAQ off 188. S&Ps are off 41. Stay right there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Tim Ward, coming up. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 240. You get the Nasdaq off 187. S&Ps are off 41. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? Well, well good. I got my I sent my charts over. Uh, something interesting is happening uh, as far as the SPY is concerned. That'd be chart number one. Okay. And, it's been uh, quite a market. A There's no doubt. There. And and the reason why I circled that area, I listed uh, the trend closes and the tick closes on each one of those days. Yes. We kind of showed a similar chart. I don't know. Remember back in May, we were we were talking. And I had a bunch of ten and trick readings. So anyhow, but long story short, when the ticks and trend reading, they usually accumulate. In it, all in the same area. Right. You know, it's not exactly yes. area. But once they start doing that, that area becomes support. Right. So uh, so my point is we're prob we're starting to form support here. Not saying we've seen the bottom, uh, the final bottom yet. I don't, I think last Friday's low is going to be broken. We'll, that's on chart two. Okay. But um, this area right we're in there, we're basically, uh, looks like about four, I don't know, 438 uh 446, those were all the trend and tick readings are starting to form in. So we got panic in this area, and panic only forms at bottoms. If you don't have panic, you don't have a bottom. Yeah. Uh, so you, I, I, you know, it's the reason why I kind of got long a couple of weeks ago, I right. started seeing panic up around 438. Well, we busted lower, but the panic still kind of formed in this vicinity. So it's not a perfect science, but it does give you a real good clue of where sport is starting to form. Yes. And we're forming right in this area right now. And you know what's wild, so, Tim, is that, you know, when you take a look at it, when I was just doing, when I was doing the update, the, you know, so the, the SPY got all the way up to 444.69, which, which was like pretty close to this 446 area, which was one of the last times that we were down on big volume, okay? The, the lows of 446. Now, right. that being Good said, what we're coming into, we're coming into 96 million and 98 million, and we're only going to do like 70 million. So that gets really intriguing. You see, you don't understand what I mean? Meaning, the, uh, the, the, the what, 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 go ahead. We're going to do like probably 70 million today in the spy, 
And we're coming into the trading day. I can't see the chart that far ahead. I think it's the 27th. It's the last, you know, the last two bars at the bottom, meaning that we're coming into that with a lot lighter volume, even though right, it seems right. like a vicious day, you know? Right. Actually, if you eyeball it, that last decline into last Friday's low, you compare that volume going down and comparing to last Friday's low to up of, of the rally over the last several days, that volume's a lot lighter. And, uh, you know, I, I do have a, a software program that measures the up and down volume. So this rally up is kind of a sucker rally, put it that way. Right. Um, right. So it's, it's, it's running out of steam. You know, it's kind of a, acting a little kind of weird, but normally these corrections are, are just kind of screwy. They seem to go a little bit different rule book than what's when the market goes in an uptrend. I think people are kind of just the motions of downtrends just scare people. And so the, the rules get swayed a little bit, I guess you might say. But well, particularly but in the summer, here, this, this whole sideways movement, even though it's kind of a sideways to down since about early August to the current level, you know, there's a huge a bunch of panic all over the place in the ticks and trend. Right. So we, we got, we got, we're, we're capitulating right now. I mean, so it may move, move a little bit lower with the market starting to capitulate. So, um, anyhow, that's what I wanted to point out there. Uh, we can move on. Okay. Um, chart two, I think we had this a chart, a similar chart we had on yes. Tuesday. And the only thing I want to point out here is the SPY was not down four days in a row, but the SPX and the QQQ were down four days in a row going last Friday. You can go back, uh, I think it was five years when I did this study, and you know, when the market's down four days in a row um, on the QQQ and the SPX, the market's usually, the market's lower 73% of the time within five days. Well, today is uh, four days, so it means down tomorrow might be, that that uh, quantitative minis be up to you may take six days, but normally you got enough momentum to probably go back at a minimum test last Friday's low. Okay, and we may be going for that right now. Um, and you know, if you look Friday's low, uh, if you look on the chart, or I have that, if you go back and look at the chart where I have all the trend and tick readings, Friday's low had a high down volume day. Yes, it did. And most high volume down days are tested at some point. Right. Uh, so, there, was a, uh, there was a 98 million trade uh, day in the uh, SPY. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to take a, in my opinion, we're going to take a shot at that. I don't know when. Could it be tomorrow, maybe? Uh, next week, maybe? I don't know. And tomorrow, uh, you know, we have that, uh, you have the Powell speaking at uh, quarter past 10 Eastern time at Jackson Hole. So that's going to be a big deal because it's, you know, it's going to be like, okay, are they going to keep going on rates? Are they going to get neutral? What are they going to do? You know, I mean, last yeah. year was when he had to give the market a back uh, slap in the back of the head saying, hey, you not believe him that I'm going to keep going up on rates. And that day, in, in the next few weeks after that, the market got smoked. And then, of course, the market said, see you later. I'm not going to go down. I want to go up anyway. But <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, well, maybe uh, maybe that'd be the nail in the coffin uh, to form the low because the market anticipates all this news. So yes, and it seems like whatever is is whatever that announcement is going to be is 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 probably already baked into the cake per se. Right, and we may get a short term reaction, but uh, intermediate term wise, I think we're looking fine. So I, I don't think we're starting a massive decline here. I think, and we're probably finishing up a bottom that. May take another, you know, maybe a couple, maybe another week, maybe, you know, market bottoms. You know, it's, it's hard to say. They seem to take more time to form. So, and then, are you look, are little, you looking for some Friday kind of something? Tim, are you looking for some sure. kind of consolidation after this? Well, meaning, uh, what well, you mean? Me go down? I think it could be a base building. Is what I'm thinking. Okay. You know, okay. we go down and uh, say we test break Friday's low and yeah. And a lot of times these signals come on Friday, so they make you sweat over the weekend. Right. But um, right. Uh, then we may go up, and you know, I have a, a pointed out a gap. Uh, you see on that chart number one, I have a gap, which is that pink area. Yes. I have drawn there. Yep. And so you know, it depends how we test that area. And there's another one above it. So I'm I'm thinking we could flip sideways for maybe a month or something, and yep. build a base, and and uh, actually. Uh, uh, 
I don't have these charts shown, but the bigger, you know, I do a lot of stuff with the McCall and Osclair right. and summation index. And we had a sign of strength off that, that sideways move from a year ago, May, to this May. And so we built a base of a year. So this rally we had off that base is is only the beginning of a, of a bigger trend yet. I think we have further to go. I think we'll break new highs uh, before the year is out, but we may move sideways between now and, you know, and probably into September, probably sometime. Sure. That's how I'm seeing it. Just stay there so. for a second, folks. We're talking with Tim Wood from the Ord Oracle. Don't forget, you can get hold of him at ord-oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 241, NASDAQ off 195, S&P's off 43. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow is off uh, 248. NASDAQ is down 204. S&P's off 44. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Wood, and we are talking markets here. Okay, Tim. All right, uh... Any more questions on the S and P's or? No, I like I like this chart. I like this chart. We can always go back to it later if we'd like, but I like this chart. I'm re we're ready for the next one. All right. Okay. Go to chart number three. Okay. We found this chart in the past. Uh, the chart goes back to uh, 2000. Well, it goes back to 1986. All right. So it's a long, long term chart. So anyhow, the the middle window is the uh, monthly 
silver gold ratio. Yes. And I got three different types of indicators to that ratio. The bottom one is a percent Boeing or percent Bollinger band. Next one up is a rate of change. And the one above the uh, middle chart, which is a silver gold chart, is this RSI. And they're all in the monthly time frame. Okay. And you need two of the three indicators to trigger a buy signal. And, uh, and those uh, dotted vertical lines are the times when at least two of the three indicators, or maybe all three, but at least two of the indicators gave a buy. The last time this thing gave a buy was in uh, July of last year. And it also marks all the times uh, when that signal was triggered, what the, uh, the top one was the XAU, the monthly XAU, yep. and what all the percentages it did. And what uh, at least it did is 95%. The most it did is 383%. Look at that, huh? So anyhow, we, holy got a, cow. we got a chart. Pardon? I just said, look at that. Holy cow. That's pretty impressive. Hey, let me ask you yeah. something. Out of, two out of the three, this almost looks like all three gave you a signal this time. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it did. Okay. Or, no, it didn't. Because the RSI on the top window above that didn't quite get down to minus seven or minus I, Oh, I see it right above it a little. Okay. Okay. I got it. Yeah, okay. it didn't quite do it. But some of them did. The one previous one did. Yep. Back at the, um, uh, well, whatever that decline was, all yes. three of them got a bicycle and the thing rocketed up. So, you know, just two of the last three did. And so, uh, anyhow, all of them at least round off numbers, you know, all of them at least did 100%. So, it basically, it was triggered at around 90 on the uh, XAU, and right now we're around uh, 117 area or somewhere in there. So we're about 40%. So this thing's still on a buy signal. So anyhow, because it should get at least 180. Okay. So even though the market is uh, on a monthly time frame, it's been pretty much moving sideways over the last several months. So let's look to chart four. Okay. So now this is a smaller time frame. Well, can yeah, we no, just uh, can I just go back to this other chart again, uh, just for a second? Because, like, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, because if you're saying 180, that would bring us to all-time highs. The all-time high thus far on the XAU is 171. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what charts suggest. So, right, you know, uh, if you, so yeah, I'm thinking we're going to break new highs, you right? Know, probably within the next 12 months. That's kind of what I, I just mean, wanted to go over. Okay, uh, can last a while. No, I'm with so, you. Okay. I got it. Okay, so now let's go uh, to that chart number yeah. four. Okay. Yeah, chart number four. So that, this breaks it down into a shorter time frame. And the, the top window is the cumulative up-down volume percent. So that's all that is. And the middle window is GDX. And if we get down, we can talk about the two bottom, uh, two bottom indicators. But what I found out worked the best is the up-down volume, cumulative up-down volume percent for GDX. Yeah. And I circled um, when those in, and I did a Bollinger Band on it, and I circled the times when that indicator, cumulative up-down volume, went above the Bollinger Band, that's in blue, went below a Bollinger Band, that's in red, and da da da. Well, today it's above the mid Bollinger Band. But sometimes you can get a little hesitation there, sometimes you don't. But uh, right now we're basically. As of today, we just we're above the mid Bollinger band. What well, this is not on the close. I don't know what the close is going to be, but we're off a close. So usually, this indicator usually doesn't whip you around. It is pretty straightforward. When it, when it goes up, it goes up for a while. When it goes down, it goes down for a while. You know, it's so uh, cool, I mean, man. Do you remember? I mean, I know you know because actually, when you were on with me, we had Joe Granville on too. I mean, because when you're doing the up down volume, that's really on balance volume, right? Because that's um, do you, do you could it be the same thing. You know, it could be. I don't know. Actually, uh, well, do you, do you, do you and add, Joe do you, Granville created that indicator, right? Do you add the volume on an up day and, and subtract on a down day? Uh, I actually, I don't know what the cumulative, how they they perform it. You know, I um, so I don't know. I actually don't know. Okay, that's a good question. Um, this indicator came in this. This way, I didn't actually look into Packet, it, how I got it, it okay. formed or anything. Okay. I probably just could like do a study okay. on it and I get it. figure okay. out what it does. But I think it it just adds, uh, yeah, it could be a, a on-balance volume, but not for sure. But uh, 
But anyhow, you can see how it works. Yes, if no, look, for sure. You know, it it catches the trend, and actually, if you look at that top in in uh, April, yes, you know, it closed below that. It didn't. It never closed, even though the market GDX rallied into May there. That indicator stayed below the mo- been bo- uh, mid Bollinger Band. I thought that was pretty good. Right. So saying that we're um, going lower. Yeah. Right. 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 It, yeah. It made it lower. So actually, if you draw, you know, if, if you do divergences, you draw trend lines on that yep. GDX. You, and anyhow, so and if and, and folks, you know, it, let Tim just one second. I don't mean to interrupt you, ahead. but folks, if you're looking at this chart when Tim's talking, you know, you got the the GDX and you get the top line. He's talking about this middle line here. That's the mid of the Bollinger Band. Then you have the bottom, just so you can understand how what we're talking about here. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah. So anyhow, so uh, it gave a buy back in uh, July. I gave a sell in oh uh, August first. Yeah. You know, and now we're back into you know pit, uh, you know possibly a buy uh, uh, right now. So this thing coming off the bottom here, uh, to me, it looks it looks for real. So, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm going to put. I, I'm going to put. Surprised how much it backed off, but I'm going to put um, this up right. Yeah, let me see. I just put this up. You can see we're right. Oh, look at that, man. We're right on it right now. We we actually yeah, kissed right it. On it. Yeah, we kissed and it. If you look at the price on, uh, you know, if you go and look on that indicator, well, the price is uh, minus six six eight point eight two. The mid Bollinger Band. Is six five six point seven six when I did this. Yeah. So right now, when I made that chart, it was above the mid Bollinger Band. Wow. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, so man. yeah. Yeah, you see the volume coming off that low. You I know, oh, oh I loved it. GDX. I loved it. No, the big time. Yeah. yeah. So it, it could be a real move. So we'll have to wait and see. We yeah, can we flip to. Uh, and we're kind of running out of time, but well, I'm going to uh, take you for one more segment too. Anyway, so the, we can go to the next. All one. right. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll flip to chart chart uh, number five. Okay. And uh, we probably won't have a lot of time to talk about it. This is kind of a, a different chart. The bottom window is, again, the up-down volume advanced client indicator. Uh, but I took a, instead of cumulative, I did a 18-day uh, average. And it seems to work out pretty well. Okay, here, just hold and, that thought, Tim. Just hold that thought. We got a quick break. We're coming right back. And you talk about bisecting and dissecting markets, folks. You hear it. He's bisecting and dissecting them, baby. Dow, Dow Industrials down 279. Nasdaq's off 218. S&Ps are off 47. Tim and I are going to come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Tim Wood, and we have the uh, markets. Uh, Dow's down 290, Nasdaq's off uh, 220, S&Ps are off 49. And we have chart number five up here, Tim. All right, chart number five. You know, the previous chart was a cumulative up down volume percent for GDX. Uh, this one on the bottom window is the 18-day um, average of the up down volume uh, percent for GDX. So it's, a, it's kind of a different spin. I've, I've used a lot of different moving averages. For some reason, 18 day is it seems to work the best. Okay. But in in general, when this indicator is above minus 10, markets in an uptrend. When it's below minus 10, the market's in the downtrend. And all that blue shaded area is when the up-down volume advanced client indicators, 18-day average, is of above uh, minus 10. So minus 10 seems to be the magic number. Yes. And when I did this chart, it, it was uh, minus 17 and a half. Okay. So uh, this one's below, but the previous one is above. So, you know, which one leads, I don't know, but... Um, it's, it's going up, uh, along with so the market probably would need to keep going higher here to get that indicator above, uh, minus 10. And when it does, then yeah, we need a couple more good days. 10, don't know. So it looks like we need a couple more good days in the, uh, GDX, right? Cause that, that would bring it above the mid Bollinger band number one. And then more than likely, you know, a couple good days would bring this above 10, right? Probably. Yeah. Above 10. So it's kind of, if you look at the last signal, um, you know, it gave a buy signal kind of 1st July, just like the uh, um, cumulative up-down volume did. And uh, and actually, Mark went back down and gave a sell signal. So he kind of bought and sold about the same level, yeah. which is kind of unusual. It usually gets you out pretty good close to the highs. This last particular time, it went back down and went through a sell signal. And now it hasn't quite got a buy signal yet, but it's going in the right direction, I guess you might say. So... But uh, the signals are usually pretty good. I mean, um, over time, it has it, worked well. So, but, you know, if you use several different indicators uh, on this up-down volume type indicators, you know, if you get two or three, um, right now we got one out of two, you know, your chances of success really increase. So I'm thinking we're about ready to start a rally. Yes. And, and the only reason why I think this market has a lot further to go is on page Three, which is uh, that percent volume thing, or not percent volume, but the uh, monthly gold silver ratio, right? Uh, gave a buy, and that that signal, in my opinion, is still incomplete until we get above 180, and that may, you know, take another, you know, I don't know, six months, a year or so. Yes. The bigger trends up, the short term trend, in my opinion, is starting to turn bullish here. Um, and one is already bullish. And if you get two, your chance of success is really increased. So I think that other buy signal is probably um, coming here shortly. In August, I think uh, uh, gold market is usually a good time, July through August, all the way in October. So seasonality-wise, we're actually pretty good for gold and gold stocks, too. So, um, hey, you know, know, it looks pretty good. Yes, so. no, big time. I'm with you. You know what's interesting, Tim? <clears throat> 
This mid Bollinger band that you're on to is really a trip, man. I did. I've been. Yeah. I've been pulling a few. I mean, I have the spy up here right now, right? And you know, I mean, you know, you got whipped around a little maybe three months ago for a day or two, but man, this thing just went all the way up, and yeah, now it turned. It it almost it tried to get above it, I guess, this morning, and then it failed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, failed. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk more about that if you want, because uh, uh, if you really want accuracy over time, you do it on a weekly. On a weekly, and, okay. Yeah, and that'll catch you all the major moves, up or down, period. That's pretty amazing. I, 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 I went all the way back to 1980 and, and did a, a, a study on it, you know, a personal study where right. you know, I'm pretty, you, you see the kind of charts I do, I I look at all the weird stuff and and uh, oh, listen, I know, man. That's why I love you so much. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've learned more off you, you know, 20 years ago than I probably you know, learned in the last, you know, 20 years. Yeah, there's no right. doubt, man. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see what the next 20 years bring. So. That's right. So, That's yeah. right. Pretty wild. So, well, I'll tell uh, you, this has been. So anyhow. Yeah. It, it looks all pretty good. So anyhow, we got a lot of stuff going on probably the next couple of weeks, and I think uh, you know I think that signal will probably generate in GDX because one's already doing it. It's a matter of a couple others kick in, and we probably got a rally there. And then I'm thinking, you know, uh, the SPY SPX is probably even though we may go back to test last Friday's low, my opinion that's probably going to be it because right. we already got quite a bit of panic over the last couple of weeks, and. There's that 10 day trend I always talk about. Yes. You know, and right now, I think it was 1.09 as of yesterday. Usually, if you get around 1.2 and higher, that's where the intermittent term lows form. Okay. So that's the reason why I said the market may flip sideways here until that 10 day trend gets up around 1.2. But well, to get to 1.2, you're going to need some more, you know, high trend closes over the next, you know, week or two to get that average above 1.2 that's the only reason why i thought we might flip sideways i see you know no. what i mean yeah. yeah because we need to you know get some more panic days probably in this region we're in right now but you know some stuff thrown around a little bit to get that trend then once that trends above you know 1.2 then that's where the major bottoms form yeah and so, as we as we're speaking right now you know there's going to be coming into this close is going to be interesting because you know, the S&Ps just took, a you know, another leg uh, 10 points down um, in about a heart, heartbeat, you know, so yeah, I suspect that. Yeah, what, what's, what's, yeah what's interesting, yesterday we had a 1.89 trend, um, and the market was up. Well, yes. I thought that was kind of strange. That's usually only happens in down days. So, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Whatever those trend readings come in at, you know, we're, we're so... You know, if we do crash tomorrow, we break below last Friday's low, and the uh, and the uh, we get a bullish combination ticks and trend, and we break last Friday's low on say at least ten percent lighter volume, to me that would be a short term setup, and probably uh, could end up with a buy signal. Yeah, and just enough fear in the market, not right? A long term. Pardon? There'll be just enough fear in the market. Right, if you're in the market, to probably get up to where, you know, the gap we had here, uh, if you look on that chart on pay, or on chart one. Yes. That that uh, pink area I got drawn, that's where gaps, uh, the two gaps are open. Yep, I see and it. And I, I thought, well, if we get, we do, you know, this is all speculation oh, right yeah. now. No, no, I don't I'm with have the signal to do it, but it right. could develop or last Friday's low could be tested if it's tested on a lighter volume. And the ticks and trend are still high enough. We may get rallied to that gap, and we may find resistance to that gap. Um, so I don't know. It's, I think it's going to be a trading range. Exactly. So, now it's, it's a nice one, though. It's a big one, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, we'll listen, we'll man. The numbers as when they come in. So we'll see how it goes. It's always a pleasure, Tim. You have a, a great okay. weekend, a safe weekend. We uh, look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. And uh, stay safe, man. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow down at 322. NASDAQ off 232. S&P's off 53. We'll come right back, folks.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And if, folks, if you haven't been into the Tiger's Den, you know, come over and get in the Tiger's Den. There's, there's so many great traders and such great information. I just looked over there, and uh, I'm in Philip, who's saying, yeah, I mean, look at this, man. The DIA, I mean, this thing crushed the lows of last week. This is an ABC down. So there's going to be divergence, but this is an ABC down, man. I mean, it took out the B point and took it out with volume, man. So this is going to get interesting. The market's getting whipped around, but, you know, you get uh, 3.5 million. You're at 3.5 right now. They'll throw some more into this. And, you know, that's saying that thing wants to go to the next leg. So that's 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 leading. Let me just look at this for a second. So if we look at the volume characteristics. You did 904 yesterday. See, we went up yesterday with volume. Interesting, though. See, there's divergence, but yeah, there's divergence. Well, and yeah, coming into one billion. There's no way we did one billion shares out here today. Yeah. So it's interesting. So that you get the ETF. This happens sometimes. You get the ETF that is going to have the volume. The indice, however, is not going to have the volume. And then if we go inside the Dow, you get Boeing and Disney, I think, that's taken itself. Let's take a look here. Yeah, well... No, Disney, not even Disney. You got Boeing minus 72, Microsoft minus 43, Apple minus 31, Caterpillar minus 23, Home Depot minus 22. The only ones positive is Travelers 
plus seven, McDonald's plus four, and Verizon plus one. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting market, though, there's no doubt. And, you know, we talk about a little bisecting and dissecting out there. That was a lot of bisecting and dissecting. And don't, don't forget, folks, these programs are archived. And so you can go over that uh, when Tim and I was talking. And don't forget, uh, listen, the, the Gold Report. I'm going to be doing a workshop for, for subscribers uh, next Wednesday. Go subscribe. My take, folks, gold's at the bottom. We're going topside. Go subscribe. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, cancel the 29th day. You haven't lost a thing. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Lots of action. Great show. Look at him, folks.